Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Gamboa versus Gamboa. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mrs. Gamboa, you say you're fed up with your husband because he's repeatedly accused you of cheating, even with the babysitter. Yes, Your Honor. All right, you're here today to set things straight because you say his doubt about paternity has led to the emotional neglect of your one-year-old son, Dominic. That's right, Your Honor. And Mr. Gamboa, you argue you'll be crushed if you find out Dominic is not your biological son today, but claim he does indeed look like your former babysitter. Yes, Your Honor. You say Mrs. Gamboa is lying yes, about Your cheating. Honor. So, Ms. Gamboa, did you cheat on your husband with the babysitter? No, Your Honor. The babysitter was in the bed at the time that Mr. Gamboa came home, but I did not well, cheat Honor. on him. Oh, wait a minute. The babysitter was in the bed? Yes, on top of the bed. That's on the bed. <laughs> Mr. Gamboa, you saw the babysitter? No. I on was, your bed? I was at work, Your Honor, and I got a phone call because we we're all living in the same house. Um, my stepfather had called me saying that the babysitter was, a, was asleep in my room on the floor with the door shut with my wife in there. The door wasn't shut, Your Honor. She said he was on the bed. Well, when I had got home that morning, he was on the bed. The door wasn't shut, Your Honor. His stepfather doesn't like me to begin with, and Mr. Gamboa knew he was in the room, and he only slept on the floor. When he came home, I was not in the room when he came home. I was in the living room watching TV, and he came home, and our babysitter was well, sitting Honor, on the bed. Well, I was working a graveyard shift, so, I mean, she would be up by the time I'd be home, so how would I know if she was in the bed with the babysitter? Because we've been together for so long, you should know that I wouldn't do that to you. You're so, lying, stop. So, hold yeah. on. So, you work in the graveyard yes. shift all night? Yes, and we have a four-bedroom house, so, I mean, the baby kids could have slept in the other room with his kids where they were at. We had eight kids in there. There were eight children in the room. My five, his two, and my niece at the well, time. Well, don't you think it would make sense for you to bring our kids into the bedroom with, where we sleep and let him sleep in the other room with his kids? <laughs> so, you have a male babysitter. Right. Nothing wrong with that. However, Ms. Gamboa, I need you to elaborate a bit for the court. Why make that choice? Why is a male babysitter in your... In, really in your room at all? The thing happened was the male babysitter was his decision in the first place. It was a mutual friend of ours and we that had, he knew you said more than that we I had did. Discussed. Doesn't and then mean that he was not he can living come with into us the room at the time. Sleep. He was not living with us at the time. And Mr. Gamboa offered him to stay with us because he was homeless with his two children. No, we had so both. So you took discussed. in his children. Right. And ever since then, it's been a living hell for me. I, I regret it. I regret it till this day. I tried to help a friend out, and I ended up re well, like, it seemed like every... with this. I... So, Mr. Gamboa, you said point blank that you think this child, Dominic, looks like the babysitter. Yes, Your Honor, I do. Your Honor, so... Dominic looks just like his father. He has the same dimple as our other son. That He looks just like him. And then he walks like him. I he mean, has the babysitter the same, walks like... like me, too. And no, he look doesn't. Look at the back of his no, head. The babysitter no, walks like you? No, no, he doesn't. Yes, he does. And the back, I mean, the back shape of his head, too, looks just like the babysitter's. He looks just like his dad. He has the same d bump in the back of his head. He has the same birthmark on the same arm as our Your other Honor. son. He has the same Honor, dimple I, on the when same I was younger, cheek I had, as our other son. I had severe mumps, a case of severe mumps at the age, at the teenage age, which uh, you could uh, in incur for t infertility. And uh, I was previously with my ex for about five years, and I could not conceive with her at all. So, you were under the impression that there was a very good chance that you could possibly, um, have issues yes, receiving a child with a woman me, because of having... not deny our first son and only told... Dominic. If that was the case, he shouldn't deny our only Dominic and not our first son. Well, Your Honor, when we, when we conceived our first son, I, she, we were all... We were all living with her ex. We are all living in one house, so, I mean... Right, and he knew about it. All of you all right. were living in when one house. When we first got yes. together, we were in high school or junior high school. So if I couldn't we conceive together, with my first we were, wife, we and then all of a sudden, together, I conceived my first son. Or I mean, so you why have wouldn't questions? there be doubts? Why wouldn't there be doubts about Dominic, especially if the male babysitter sleeping in the room with my wife? But while if that's I'm at the case, work. then there should be doubts about our first son because my so, ex was living in the home. So let me ask you this: How has this doubt affected 
um, your connection with Dominic, Mr. Gamboa? I mean, if there's... Have you bonded oh, with the child? No, no, I haven't. You have not? I have not no. bonded with the child. He's... A year old, handsome he's, young man. He's mostly with his mom. He will not come to me. He cries. He throws a fit. Like, Your Honor, I brought so videos I mean, of it. He doesn't bond with him. He doesn't do anything with him. And now, even now, like, he well, doesn't... Time I was, he don't change the, the diaper. He don't pick son, him up. He don't At do the time nothing. with our first son, I was always... Look, I didn't, okay, I wasn't just working. one moment. Let me first look at the pictures you've presented. To the that court. is Dominic at one years old. And that's Mr. Gamboa around six months old. And you well, say Dominic, you I see a striking resemblance. Yes. I wasn't always home. I was always working 12, 15 hour shifts, working graveyard shifts. She was always having having the babysitter. That doesn't around. mean I'm cheating on you. That I mean, doesn't when mean I'm has, cheating on you. When somebody, if you're working, you should you should trust your wife. When somebody has that a doesn't set of mean keys that every guy who works Honor, graveyard, their wife I mean, is cheating on them. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. I mean, when somebody has a set of keys to your apartments and he's snapping photos saying that this is his house and wanting to... But that The babysitter was right. doing that? Yes. Right. Your yes, Honor, no, we, I, we, I strongly believe that our babysitter was trying to mess up our marriage. Because at the end of this whole situation, our babysitter, when we kicked him out, he had no place to go. He went to Mr. Gamboa, oh, you should leave her and let's get a house together. And then he would he come to me photos. behind his back and be like, oh, let's leave him. We He's were, no good he for you. He was snapping photos We should that. get a house together. You all are the epitome of messy. I, I mean, really. On, on my space. Okay, I want to get back to Dominic because ultimately I want to hear how this young child, this young innocent child has been affected because of this. This is, you know, these are choices you all have made. Your Honor, when I was in the hospital, when I gave birth to Dominic, Mr. Gamboa was there 13 hours throughout my pain, suffering, everything. He cut the umbilical cord, yes, gave him a kiss, took pictures with him. 20 minutes after I gave birth to Dominic, he left, gave me a kiss, saying he was gonna go get close and come back because I was in a lot of pain when I had Dominic. He never came back for two days, Your Honor. No, two Your Honor, days. I had work. I still had to go to work. I didn't take the. That's a lie. I didn't have That's a lie. Act. I, That's a lie. I still had to pay bills. I but you say I'm gonna go home and get some clothes, and you never come back. I mean, you don't tell a woman in a hospital. I've been in the hospital and just had a baby. I wish my husband would say he was about to leave somewhere and come right back and didn't come back for two days. We're gonna have us a problem. <laughs> Your Honor, I couldn't get out. You, woman. you don't come back for two days and you say you sent someone to pick her up because you had to work, but you were a graveyard, yeah, so where I, were you I, all I, day? I did pick he her up. I had other business to handle. No. So is the reason What other you... business is there to... Then your son. We then your bills, son. Exactly. Oh, yeah. A roof so over your head? So my question is, was there a part of you that got out of those hospital doors and start replaying over and over again, is this or is this not my yes, son? Yes, Your Honor, because there's always that simple fact that you want to bond with the child, because my, my first child with her, I had the time and to bond with him. And you should have been there to bond with him. You shouldn't have Well, I had to work. Who's going to who's gonna put you a roof... You didn't go to work. If, you didn't Honor, go to work. Tell and first of all, I'm a man for I take care of all six of her children. I put a roof over their head. You didn't go to work. I had I, Dominic... I had Dominic I on pay, a Friday. I, he did not work until Monday. I got out Monday morning. He did not go to work. I called his phone. I called his parents. Yes, I Our did go son, to work. I Dominic had hours had to prove for it. At the first day, I was supposed to go home. And he had John I... and I had to stay there. And I called him, scared out of my mind, to help me with him, and he wouldn't come. Yes, I, I did, call. Your Honor. No, my you mother didn't. had got a hold of me, came and the I next showed day up. When I was getting released. And I showed up. My mother had called me. My, even my mother knew I was at work, working, taking care of business. No, so you were not at work. You came the next day when I was released. We were taking photos of Dominic in the phone. He didn't even. And I was get there the for the photos because really? I, didn't, he did not I didn't want to get, get in the photo. photo. You didn't want to take I didn't a take picture a photo. with the brand new beautiful no. baby. That could be yours because you had that much doubt? Yes, Your Honor. And this doubt... When someone's sleeping in your room when it's not your kids, when she had the option of bringing our kids into the room and him, sending him with his kids in the other room, I mean, that would cause doubt. Look, and, your, and your stepfather calling you saying there's another man in your room? I mean, come our on. Our babysitter texted him and How would she was feel if we had a... Told, the babysitter told me that it was he... Mr. Gamboa specifically said it was okay for him to stay in the room. I would on never the floor. say that would be okay. How would she like in her footsteps if we I, had a know, female babysitter? Ms. Gamboa, I don't believe that for a minute. I don't 
don't know any man that's going to tell another man that it's okay for you to sleep in the room with my wife when I have, what, four no, other bedrooms? No, Your Honor, I would not. Two of yes. them were occupied and the kids were sleeping all in the other room. Are but, any... Mr. Gamble, your husband has a good point. Any Even other... if... I know, I admit that. Just get I your children, that. bring them into your room, and then... The babysitter exactly. and his... They can have the other room. Your Honor, I, you know, I know. And that's because what I said. I let's... admit that. I made the big mistake of, of trusting our babysitter to know that he would Your Honor, not I lie know about how... it, and I made that mistake, and I'm living through it now, Your and Honor, my son you know... Dominic's living through it now. Because you that. feel like, ultimately, Dominic is suffering because yes. he has no bond with his father, the man you believe to be his father. Yes. Your Honor, you know, I know... I mean, How does he treat him brought, differently? If you look at the video I brought, you can clearly see the, the damage is done to Dominic. You submitted video to the court. Yes, I did. And if we Your had Honor. a female babysitter and she ended up pregnant... I need you to I, describe this room, video We would have the same feeling. Right here, this is Mr. Gamboa and Dominic on the video. Okay. Okay, that's your son. Go get him. Like, what the heck? You walked away. You turned your back on him. I've never turned my back on him. You just turned your back. Care of him. Now he's climbing. Okay, that's climbing. If it was our other son, he would automatically just grab him. Mr. Gamboa, you're not... He's not... ...lending like, any type of assistance. No concern. It's hard oh, and it's, that's a concrete look at, look at, park. Grab him. No. Exactly. So, Mr. Gamboa... You've admitted that you have not bonded truly with yes, Dominic. I have not bonded. And when I'm looking at that picture as a parent, I mean, my instinct is to reach out because that's yes. what parents do. Your child... When your son... When your son's and running your honor, away, I've... you don't turn your back on him. You don't turn honor, your back on him. I mean, when they get think... five I mean, feet on you, you're going to back. grab them. I'm taking them. care of right. four other children that aren't even mine. And I take But I don't see four other children in that video. Exactly. Right, but this is about Dominic, and you treat Dominic the same way you treat the other four, <laughs> as if he's not his. He, he financially How is, is that? there. I financially, fi he is there 100% there supporting me, myself, my children, Dominic, and my other son. But when it comes to emotionally support, he is not there. He is not there. So, Ms. Oh. Gamboa, you also submitted a second video. Yes, Your Honor. And please describe what this video shows. This video right here is my everyday life, pretty much. I try to give him to, Ray, to Mr. Gamboa. He and doesn't want to go. That's how I feel like he's not even my he doesn't son. He go. doesn't want to come near me. He will not go. Oh. How do I know he's she's not spending this time... This is my with... everyday life. When it comes for him being tired or going to sleep, I put him to sleep. I, I cuddle him, I wrap him, I make sure he goes to sleep. He will not go to Your Honor, if I also find out Dominic wasn't mine, I'd be crushed. I, mean, I want to grow a relationship with him, like... Then you should have oh. bonded with him from day he one. How, 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 can, how can I bond with him if I have to work and take care of the family and... It doesn't matter. When you come home, you can bond with him. I'm, t I'm working 16 hour, 15 hour shit. That's an excuse. It's an excuse. Exactly. <laughs> Mr. Gamboa, what happens to this relationship if Dominic is not your biological son? If he's not my biological son, I have to walk away from marriage because I, I, I don't... I mean, that she was just lying to me the whole time with the babysitter sleeping in the room. Like, I mean, from my own stepfather calling me and telling me and her believing... Why would you believe the babysitter... That's he say, and, she say, you should believe your wife or you should come well, how to come your you wife and ask... How come you didn't call your husband at work and say, I hey... I did call you. I did oh. call you. You didn't answer the phone. I'm and so, Miss Gamboa... I even left a message for him saying that he was there. I'm Dominic pretty sure I would answer if a man was sleeping in my room with my wife. not his biological son, do you want to make this marriage work? I'm saying now, and I'm telling you right here, right now, if he comes out to be your son, you need to get help, you need to get counseling for your trust issues, <laughs> you need to do marriage counseling, or you know what? I'm gone. I, I can't do this anymore. I cannot put my two sons against with him in this. I cannot I put mean, my other four children I mean, it's kind of hard. I think I that you to... need the same kind of counseling because I, that, when you bring said that. two said men into the same to house with your own kids... together. If, if we do not agree on marriage counseling, then there is no marriage. All right. Well, I think it's time for the results. <laughs> well... Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings.
in the case of Gamboa v. Gamboa pertaining to whether Raymond Gamboa is the father of one-year-old Dominic Gamboa. It has been determined by this court that Mr. Gamboa, you are his father. Thank you. Thank you. Bond with him. That's your baby. Bond with him. No more excuses. Bond with him. Yes, I will. I will be his father. So, Mr. Gamboa, your fears have been laid to rest. That is your son, beautiful, handsome son, and you've now missed out on one year of his life being emotionally and spiritually absent. I commend you that despite your doubts, you still stepped up to the plate and took care of your family. I agree with your wife, you all need some counseling. Yes. And that's why this court offers resources to families to help you get over these hurdles that doubt and bad decisions cause. Because ultimately, Ms. Gamboa, if we're being very honest, and you know I keep it real in this courtroom, yes, you don't have no business having no male babysitter in your room <laughs> anywhere near your bed. Yes, Your Honor. There's nothing he gotta use out of your room. I think you need to just focus on this and your beautiful children. Are we clear? Yes, yes Your Honor. The court's gonna provide some resources for you to help you start getting through this particular uh, situation. And I believe you both love each other enough and those beautiful children enough to do that. All right? Thank I you, wish Your you the you, very Honor. best of luck. Thank court you. is adjourned. I'll walk you both out together out here.